Scorpio, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early June 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Scorpio Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going here. My guides and spirit team, talk to me about Scorpio Gang in early June. What do we got? Energies, insights, messages, all that good stuff for my friends. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Scorpio, please. Guides and spirit team, talk to me. Okay, and I can't wait to piggyback off the reading we had last week because it seemed like there was some good energy moving in, but, you know, energy is always shifting. What we got? Okay, yeah, lots of people, and there's also a complexity in this energy here, which could be a good thing depending on the situation, but notice all these people. That's also a card that I connect with the Internet as well, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Before we do, though, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card because it is quite layered and it doesn't show up too often. So if you look at the imagery here, we have like this guy, we have the woman, there's like this post in the center with all these different pictures and there's even people in the background. So it's like people, 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 people. So this tells me a few different things. For some Scorpios, maybe you just have like a lot of people's energies moving towards you or affecting you. You might be a little more popular than you normally are when this card is here. Another aspect of this, the fact that there's so many people, you could be dealing with group dynamics. So whether, whether it's work situations or family situations, home situations, it really depends. But aside from all those things, aside from all these people and the energies, it could just represent a complex situation or you being very empathetic more so than usual when this energy is here because it's like okay i'm feeling the energy of this person and that person like all these things could be affecting your energy even if you don't realize it when this card is here so there's a, a strong complexity there and uh, as i said earlier like to me i do also link this to the internet um it does kind of have that vibe like with the posts and all the people and stuff like that so for a lot of you there could be whether you're trying to monitor how much time you spend on the internet, or maybe it's business opportunities through the internet. There is something important about that here. So we're just going to put it down for now and get into tarot. As I always say, that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. So I'll shuffle it up one time here for Scorpio gang. My guides talk to me. What messages and insights do you have for my friends? while we shuffle this up and get ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. Loved it. Last week's reading was titled The Surprising Win, and I really hope a lot of Scorpios had one. Just know that if you didn't have a win, they come in all different shapes and sizes, whether it's like personally, emotionally, monetarily. Things happen in interesting ways, especially when the energy like I saw last week start to pop up. So no, it could bleed over for a couple of weeks. Now, you might have things turn your way when it seems like they're not gonna. But let's see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone at your wing too. You know how it goes. So let's get it going here. What do we got for Scorpio, please? Early June. What do we got for Scorpio? Thank you. Wow. Uh, this is almost unbelievable. The Queen of Wands in position number one. And the reason I am reacting this way my friends, and I'll give the Scorpios a little bit of inside baseball here, right? Because, you know, part of the gang myself. But I usually film all of the water sign readings together, back to back to back. And every single water sign has received the Queen of Wands in position number one. Now, not only do I shuffle these cards here on video when you see me, but between readings, I also shuffle extensively. So this is like mind blowing to me that all the water signs have this queen of wands in position number one. I know that was completely random, but I just had to talk about it. All right. Yeah. See the people, people, people. We have the page of pentacles. So there are a lot of energies of people around you. <laughs> Let's get one more. And I mean, I know some Scorpios might not want to even hear that, right? Because we're kind of known like sometimes we could be loners from time to time. We need our solitude. So like all these people energies, like that might be a little uncomfortable for some Scorpios out there. 
Uh, I guess it depends on what you're going through. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords right here on the back end. There's a lot of energy around communication. There's possible opportunities coming in here as well. So I'm liking what I'm feeling so far. Let's go through. I'll give you the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I was already giving pretty extensive commentary on the stuff that's been popping out. We have interesting elemental mix. We have fire, we have earth, we have air. So this could be different areas of life showing up here. Notice we have the two court cards, which could be people. When we link it to all the stuff we're seeing here, I mean, maybe you want to be popular in this time, right? Like that could be a good thing. It just all really depends on the aspects. Now, another thing I will say with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, these cards both represent new. So for a lot of Scorpios, any new endeavors, new things you're throwing your energy to, new cycles, these are really, really positive or could be. So let's go through one by one and really start to build this out. Also, tons of communication with these cards. Position number one, we have the beautiful, lovely, confident sexy queen of wands right so as i already mentioned she showed up in every single water signs reading as the first card so it's a theme that all us water signs are feeling here the queen of wands does kind of represent the self now i always say queens represent the internal aspects of the suit they're in fire and wands that's your internal combustion system, right? It's uh, your passion, your desire, your drive, your literal energy levels here. The Queen of Wands has a certain confidence to her. So whenever I see her, it talks about your self-confidence. Are you feeling good about yourself? Or are you beating yourself up? Are you feeling on top of the world? Or are you feeling pretty low? It all really depends on what you're going through. But the Queen of Wands wants us to really take a look at how we value ourselves. For a portion of Scorpios out there, you might be changing something about your aesthetics. Maybe you're updating your wardrobe or changing something about your look. There's a looks conscious energy connected to her as well. Um, the rougher aspects of this Queen of Wands is that she can be unpredictable sometimes. The Queen of Wands can once again also represent someone who's not feeling the greatest about themselves. So we'll just have to see. Moving to the center, we have the Knight, uh, not the Knight, the Page of Pentacles. Now all pages our students, all pages are messengers. I say that every time we have some earth sign energy. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and the page of pentacles is extremely studious so i feel like it would be important for a lot of scorpios in this time to just be open to new experiences and new things whether it's going new places doing new jobs and businesses stuff like that there's something around new here that is really important but the page of pentacles is a messenger okay so whether it's a message that you're wanting to deliver or someone that's wanting to deliver one towards you we are looking at some possible communication but when we look at the challenging aspect of this page of pentacles as with all pages they could be a little shy they could be a little bashful so whether this is how someone around you or connected to you is acting or maybe or maybe there's something that you want to say but you don't know how to say it type of energy but on the back end we have the ace of swords the sword of truth now i love this card it's one of my favorite aces out of the whole deck all aces represent offers and opportunities and this one is no different but there's other aspects to this card that are way different than others when the sword of truth comes out you could be seeing something clearly um, you could be seeing the truth of a situation. There is no illusion when the Ace of Swords is here. So it's like, all right, I see it for what it is. It could also be communication, like a serious, important talk where it's like, listen, I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm not biting my tongue. You're going to get this truth. Like it's kind of that vibe here. Uh, another aspect of the Ace of Swords, it could represent uh, cutting certain things out of your life. So whether it's behaviors, whether it's situations, whether it's people, it all really depends. But I want to dive deeper on all this. It seems like we have some intriguing themes going, Scorpio. Let's dive deeper and jump in and clarify. <clears throat> okay, let's get a good shuffle here. What do we got for Scorpio, please? Guides and spirit team. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on that queen of wands and yes if you're a reader yourself please feel free to play along that's why the box is here if you're feeling any messages you want to give to scorpio you can drop it in the comments i don't mind at all okay queen of wands time why is she here thank you the full card okay all right so for a lot of scorpios you I don't want to say it's like you're building up to make a move or you're building up to do something, but I just want to point out all the amazing, beautiful energy there is around new. 
Okay. Now I'm not saying if you're in a comfortable place right now and everything's good in your life that you need to shake things up. These could just be offers and opportunities flooding towards you, which could be a really good positive energy. I'm liking what I'm feeling, especially like since last week. Now I'm seeing it again. Let's talk about this full card a little bit though. Aries energy. It's an initiator. It is the protagonist of the tarot deck. It's all about action and it's also very spontaneous. So when I see it under a card like this Queen of Wands, it's like, all right, I'm ready to do something. I'm ready to make the jump or I'm ready to take this action and make it happen. So there could be something, especially you've been thinking about it for a while or if there's something that's been bothering you for a while where it's like, you know what, I'm finally going to do it. Or I'm finally going to do this. It's like giving me that vibe where it's like, I'm not going to sit back any longer. I'm just, I'm going to make something happen. So there is good energetic support for you or someone you're connected to to finally make a move or take an action that they've been wanting to for quite a while. This is positive energy. And there is a certain spontaneity attached to it too, which is the intriguing thing. Because to me, I've been saying for a while, I've been picking up this buildup of energy around the Scorpios for like months and months. And now this energy could finally start moving forward in a very positive way. I'm liking what I'm feeling. And it might seemingly come out of nowhere. So this could be good. Let's keep moving because I don't feel like that's the main part of the energy. I feel like it's just telling us like, listen, Scorpio, there's a lot coming in here. Let's see what the Page of Pentacles has to say. Because all of this is new. Everything aside from this Queen of Wands, this all represents the new. So let's see what's up. What's this Page of Pentacles about? Thank you. Another page. Surprise, surprise. So we have more people. Another page. Okay. And very similar thing I saw in the Pisces reading. I, I swear this week I could have probably just done a water sign reading because <laughs> all the readings have a lot of similarities this week that's for sure but we have the page of swords again similar to this one a messenger a talker so we have one person that's like much more open and honest and willing to talk about something uh, in good faith then we have another person that is like very skeptical and retracted and pulled back like no no i don't know about that I don't know if I even want to talk about this. I don't even know if I want to open that can of worms. It's like giving me that type of vibe here. Another thing I will say, because I have to, when we have the Page of Swords, that's the Watcher of the Tarot deck. And when I see all these people and all these new energies, there could either be a situation you're keeping tabs on or somebody keeping tabs on you in one way or another. Okay, And I'm not saying that to be creepy or anything like that, but I'm just going to give the messages how they come through. But... Lots of communication, lots of new, lots of talking. Pretty much four of the five cards out here are all those things combined. So we're going to keep moving over to the Ace of Swords. Maybe we'll get more clarity with that. Like, what is this pushing towards? Because if there is a conversation, if you're the one that's open to have it, or you're the one that's bringing it up, the other person is defensive. I feel like it's a yin-yang type of thing where it's like both parties know they need to talk about something, but one isn't ready yet. Let's see what's up with that Ace of Swords. Why is that Ace of Swords here? Then we'll do our recap before the Shadow card. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, here's that skepticism. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands, very similar to this Page of Swords. Notice how they're both in a very similar stance. If you look here at the image, notice them. They look very, very similar to each other, even though they're different elements. Um, when I see that with the Ace of Swords... I do feel like somebody's playing something safe. Um, for a lot of Scorpios in this time, there could be a discernment to your actions and a discernment to your decisions where whatever it is that's coming towards you, doesn't matter how good it seems or how rough it seems, it's like you're very skeptical about things, which is a Scorpio trait. I mean, once again, we know that we're skeptical because, I mean, we like to know what's up before we get involved with anything, really. But the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, it's like, no, I, I've been through some messed up things before. I don't want to go through them again. And when it's underneath the Ace of Swords, it's someone being extremely, extremely discerning about who and what they let into their lives. But again, this is a watcher. We have two cards of people watching. We have two cards of people talking. So it's like, okay, well, you're keeping tabs so much or you're watching this situation so much or you're involving yourself in it, why don't you want to talk about it? It's like giving me frustration here. Now, another thing I can say with the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands, there could be something that you need to vent about and that you need to release, okay? There could be something that's been sticking with you for quite a while, whether it's a situation or whether it's something you've been holding within that you might need to really speak on in order to heal it, okay? So this could be something 
old. This could be like ancient history, but I feel like there could be some sort of trauma within you or just something inside that you really need to like speak on it to release it properly. Okay. Just take that for whatever it's worth. Um, but there is like this keeping tabs. There's this communication, this talking of importance. So we're, let's go through and do a quick recap here, Scorpio, because there's like a lot of stuff happening here. There's a lot of good stuff coming in, but there's also this skepticism about it all. Like, all right, is any of it real? But position number one, we have the Queen of Wands with the full card in the upright. Beautiful energy. Someone finally deciding to make an action, make a move and do something. And there is a spontaneity or a little surprising energy that's attached to it. Um, I do feel for a lot of Scorpios, you deciding to finally put something into motion. Into the center is where we get a lot of the chatter, the chit chat, the talking. We have the Ace of Pentacles, not the Ace, the Page of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. So this could be an important or serious conversation of some sort, but I feel like one person being much more open to communicating freely and another person being very, very skeptical about it and defensive, where it's like they're both approaching this thing from completely different spaces. Also, there's a lot of energies of people keeping tabs and watching something. So there could be a situation you have your eyes on or someone might have their eyes on you. Getting to the back end, we have the Ace of Swords with the Nine of Wands. You might be extra, extra cautious and discerning about anything that's coming into your life. And with all this newness, all this opportunity, all these possible offers, I don't feel like you're rejecting things off the bat. To me, it feels more like, okay, well, I need to discern before I let something into my life, or I need to discern this properly before I move forward. Another message I was getting aside from the watching for you, Scorpio, is uh, there could be something that is within you that you need to speak on, that you really need to let out and you really need to talk about so you could properly heal it, okay? Which makes sense with what we were seeing here in, in the beginning and the end, especially with this talk of importance or seriousness. So please take a screenshot of that. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. All right, let's talk to me. What do we got for Scorpio here in the shadows, please? And yes, my friends, you know, I always like to pull a shadow card just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see just yet. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing, too. So let's get you one. And yes, uh, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. I really do. Okay, let's get it going. What do we got for Scorpio? Thank you. Okay, four of cups. So here's a little bit of this mental energy here. All right, yeah, there could be something on your mind that you're not, <laughs> similar to what I saw here, there could be something that you're really mulling over and thinking about and you're not really willing to talk about or share it. Now, one thing I will say about the Four of Cups, it is like this little feeling of, I don't want to say dissatisfaction, but someone that's a little discontent. So I'm not saying that like a lot of the Scorpio energy feels like, miserable or anything like that but in general you might just have this little discontent energy where it's like something like feeling a little aggravated if that makes sense not like angry and like freaking out or anything but this four of cups feels like all right well i'm i'm a little flustered it's like giving me that kind of energy so just know you might be a little extra spicy in the coming days and weeks when this card is here but just watch out for overthinking too that's a big thing with the four of cups it is a card of daydreaming. It's a card of thoughts and not overthinking when certain things come into your life. So don't get into any analysis paralysis when this card is in the mix. But there is a very strong active mindset in this time. So find a, a way to vent that energy out if possible, if you'd like, right? But yeah, that's what I have for you this week, Scorpio. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my digital calendar is open on mastermetaphysics.com. So go ahead and check that out. And if you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this weekend's readings. But for the June subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments if you could snap your fingers and visit anywhere in the world right now where would it be? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.